Hello, everybody. It's meteorologist Hutch Johnson with an update. Canadian snow bands are moving in for another round in Grand Forks. A break in Fargo is almost over. All the latest and what you can expect here. A look at the radar and roads on Hutch's weather beginning right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you. All right, here's a look at what's going on. The radar is showing this band of snow moving through Grand Forks with their moor out in that Manitoba area near Brandon and also uh, Winnipeg right now. A little bit high, uh, heavier snow just off to the west of the Manitoba area. So Minot is getting some snow wrapping around on the backside. This is also being driven by those north winds and northeast winds we've been talking about. Right now, Grand Forks northeast winds are getting a little bit more gusty, but not quite as strong as Jamestown approaching that 40 mile per hour area out there. So strong wind gusts are making their way into the region uh, as we head into the later evening hours here. Let me go ahead and take a look at that pencil, erase it, and show you a heavier band now pushing south of Grand Forks towards Thompson and Moreto, and will be on its way toward the Buxton area soon. Now, we've had a little bit of a break from the snow with over three inches reported in and around the FM area out in the Brainerd Lakes area. We have snowfall reports there of about two and a half to uh, five inches of snow uh, across that particular area. Grand Forks sitting at three right now with a batch that's going to be making its way through. You've shared some photos about what's going on. We're going to do that now. We're going to look at those road reports as well. Heading over to the uh, photos upload, uh, you've got some snowfall measurements to pass along, and that's what we're going to do. How about Warren? We've got what looks like uh, nine inches, two inches for the uh, uh, received yesterday, seven and a half inches today. War Road, Minnesota, what? That's amazing. Thank you so very much for uh, sharing that uh, photo up there. I'll be passing that along to the National Weather Service as well. Uh, Faulkner Township, Grand Forks County. Marion, thank you for your measurement. Looks like between six and seven inches uh, reported there. Pretty fluffy looking snow at that time. That's going to blow around when these winds pick up just a little bit. Here's a look at what's going on. That looks like between five and six inches right here. This blew off the sidewalk and... Uh, uh, blew off to sidewalk and snapped the pick. Thank you very much. And... Uh, that was very good. Let's see. Uh, this was west of Grand Forks by a few miles. Kim, thank you so very much for all that you do. All right. Yep. It's that sidewalk work out there. So some good snowfall amounts showing up in the Northern Valley and ice down South. Look at this in Judd. Pam, thank you so very much for sharing, but a real crusty look to that snow there. So when the wind picks up, you can almost see this ocean of ice out here. Very shiny, glazed, and locked in. Snow from up north may blow down through your way, however, but here is a look at what's going on in Detroit Lakes. Wow, the deck is covered. A nice little view there. Thank you for uh, sharing, Colleen. This is from the apartment balcony. Looking towards Minnesota 34, this was at 2.30 in the afternoon, about the time Hutch did a round of some shoveling out of doors. Now, here's another one from Larry. Thank you so very much. Or excuse me, the Larry Supermarket, I should say, in Pelican Rapids. John sending this in after some snow shoveling has been completed in that particular area. It's looking like a uh, white day there. And here's a quick peek at the ice. Unbelievable. Dorn, Minnesota. Thank you so much, Megan, for sharing this. So roads are icy out there. Here is a look at those temperatures. Let's get to that and then take a look at what's going on with the road conditions across the region. Minneapolis, heavy snow making its way through your area with the icing band pushing in towards Mankato. So if you are watching down there, I got to tell you what, Glencoe right on the edge of the snow and the sleet uh, as we head into the evening hours. Minneapolis picking up some fair amounts of snow as well. Uh, the system drying up just a little bit, but the gustiest of the winds are on their way. Here's a look at those wind gusts that are going on right now across the region. And you're going to see a lot of wind gust reports across South Dakota. The strongest winds exited Montana are now in South Dakota. We will not see the strongest winds. The wind warning has been canceled for our area as as most of those winds set up out to the west and to the south of this particular storm system due to its orientation. So that's what we have going on across the region. The wind gusts, let's see if those uh, get pulled up here. We can see what they are. Here we go. The digits are showing 45 in Dickinson, 51 up here in Estevan, 40 for Bismarck. It looks like from the Dickinson to Williston area right into Pier is where we're going to see some of those stronger gusts out of the west and northwest. Still no huge gusts with the storm that's making its way and the uh, snow that's making its way out of Manitoba. But Jamestown from time to time has been gusting pretty fair. Quick look at your roads and reminder, you can do this on Hutch's Weather. 
new app. Search Hutch's Weather. In the App Store today, I'm excited to announce the launch of Hutch's Weather app. Here's a look at roads. Let's start North Dakota. We've got a batch making its way through the north. No travel advisory up along the Highway 5 corridor. Let's go take you into that. We do have wind and snow that's starting to pile up along with some slippery conditions up in this zone. So as we say, no travel advised in the Cavalier zone. Let's take a look at that Cav Cavalier camera out there. And that road is completely uh, glazed over and covered with snow and it's horizontal out there. You can barely see tire tracks. So do not travel up in the uh, Cavalier area, uh, the Langdon area, as well as uh, the Towner County area where we do have uh, some uh, significant accumulation of snow and the wind is starting to really cause havoc out there. Here is the Cavalier area, I should say. As you look into the Pembina County and look at that Highway 5 just covered completely there with the snowfall activity going on there. Out in Devil's Lake, that band of snow that just moved through did coat the layer with a look at that. Just no fun for traveling there on Highway 2. So there is a travel alert in the Purple Counties getting in towards Amarado. We've kept our eyes on you throughout the day. Look at it go. Man, that's really coming down. Grand Forks right in town on the I-29 corridor. You can see right now that we got some light pillars out there in the ice crystals and that we do have some some reduced visibility with that next band moving through. That's heading into the general direction of Thompson. Has it arrived in the Buxton area yet? Yes, we are seeing a reduction in visibility at the Buxton, Buxton Exchange there as well. Fargo, we've had a little bit of a reprieve from the uh, snowfall at this particular time. Let's move on and check out the state of Minnesota, where a lot of the snow has pushed through the Brainerd Lakes area and points off to the east of there now in toward the Twin Cities. Boy, any pink roads you see here, completely covered. The blue roads partially covered. So from Kitson County straight through Thief River Falls, Red Lake Falls, let's take a look at that Highway 59 corridor. Big time flakes flying with that next batch moving through uh, the Thief River area in the north side of town there on 59. Horizontal flakes reducing visibility as well. Now, as we go down towards Red Lake Falls, same thing goes. That is not somebody uh, dangling a mop in front of the camera lens there. Nope, that is some uh, reduced visibility thanks to the snow. And now as we take a look at the Highway 10 corridor, here's a look at Lake Park. We got some coverage there, but a nice break from the snowfall. That is moving off to the east. So if we get into the Crow Wing area there, we got some greasy looking roads there from fresh fallen snow. Twin Cities, North Metro picking up some snow. As we take a look at the I-94 corridor here, yuck. Look at that. That's no fun for traveling right there, I got to tell you. And as we go into the northern metro, which is where we were expecting the more, on the north loop out there, 694, we can see that we definitely have some coverage in the Twin Cities from the snow. Now a look at South Dakota. The northeast zone has had no travel advisories earlier, and it still remains as we see that we do have this yellow county here. That's in Roberts County, Sisseton, all the way up toward the Veblen area. We do have no travel advised wind and ice that worked its way through there. Ice on the road surface causing a lot of traffic trouble out there in the I-29 corridor. No travel advised still for Northeast South Dakota, but Minnesota and North Dakota have no more no travel advisories, meaning you can, but you should use some caution. That's a quick update right here on Hutch's Weather. Please download the new Hutch's Weather app. I appreciate all of you for your input today. Keep it coming. Round two is on its way. Here's a quick look at the forecast as we go through the evening hours. It's going to continue to swing its way down to the south and increase the chances of wind and snow as we go beyond about the 7 to 8 o'clock hour here in the FM area. Let me get my favorite model that's been handling this system the best, and we'll go ahead and pop on over and see what it's showing. This one ain't handling it the best. Let's go to this one. And here we go. Okay, so as we put this into motion, you see that the main band has left. And now as we head towards six o'clock, there's another band that will be moving through Minot, Rugby, Rolla, out towards the Botno area, Rock Lake. That's what's going through right now. And as we go through towards 10 o'clock, this system will be moving through Fargo, Valley City, also the uh, Highway 200 corridor, and on into southeast parts of North Dakota as we head toward the 10 o'clock to midnight hour. The winds will be the gustiest with this next batch moving through. Gusts over 30 miles per hour will be likely up to 40 miles per hour, and then the wind and the snow will continue its way on down toward the cities for the final slap of snow. A quick look at your planning forecast. The cold is on the way. Falling temperatures throughout your day tomorrow. Expect 9 degrees for your afternoon drive home. Slippery in the morning.
but the decrease in wind and clouds will be nice throughout the day. Another batch of snow moving in on Thursday. I'll have more details on that coming up in the late report here. Seven below zero for your Thursday. Then bitter cold. I've got the purple days out here for Saturday and Sunday. Dangerous wind chills and actual air temperatures as well. 15 to 25 below with wind chills even colder than that with more snow on the way for next week. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. I'll have an update on the late week snow coming up right here. This has been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, Hutch!